Hello, we're the Light Surgic Suite. We're at uh, Gibson Guitar Studio in London. But I mean, like, you know, early stuff, obviously, like Hendrix and, you know, the Beatles, and my dad, my dad had played Beatles and Cream and, you know, Zeppelin and. Yeah, I think for me, like my, so. my dad was always into his music, similar sort of, similar sort of stuff, really. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think playing guitar sort of comes part and parcel of the learning to play guitar, like in bands like that. And yeah, just following the, following the music and trying to learn what you can, that's where it, it starts, doesn't it, really? Well, you always see, you always see them sort of iconic sort of guitars. And when you, I mean, I still don't know a lot about guitars. I know what I like, but I don't, I couldn't tell you, like, you know, this has got this headstock and this has got this look. You used to see them guitars and, oh God, that sounds amazing, or, you know, that's got, it's got an amazing sound to it, or just looks nice. I think we're quite lucky in a way, me especially. I know you two were mates for a bit, but um, a mate of ours had, his dad was always in bands as we were growing up. So he had some really good, like, 80s, 70s guitars and limited edition, mm -hmm. like, 25th anniversary Les Pauls and stuff like that. And it's worth a fortune, but it was, yeah, I was always lucky enough to pick them up every now and then when, when he was out. Well, my dad was always a musician, you know, there's always something lying around the house, you know, and he's either listening to it or he taught me my first few chords of guitar. My dad did, but he wanted me to play the drums because he played the guitar, and I reckon he was just trying to, like, breed a band, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he was, he was actually really pissed off when I played the guitar, because he was like, no, you want to stick at your drums, mate, you want to stick No, but it's just because he didn't want me to do it, you see? That's what happened to me. Exactly. He was well annoyed. Still is. Still is. <laughs> still, still living, yeah. <laughs> I've got a, a Les Paul studio, uh, which I, I bought for like 400 quid off this crazy bloke that sells uh, Star Wars figures and he just had it on the wall. He sells Star Wars figures, guitars and jukeboxes. And it's, the, it's the stupidest shop ever, but he had it on the wall and gave me a cheque for like 400 quid there and never looked back. I've had it since I was about 18. And, and, um, and I've got like an old 64, 65 like Melody Maker, which is like, there's one here somewhere. It's a tiny little thing, they're so small, and you know, I absolutely love it. I can't understand people that order them off the internet, do you know, uh, that's a bit... It's alright if you know what you want, but I think you've, a lot of them are quite different in a lot of ways. You've got to sit and play it a little bit at least, you know. So, it's got to have a good returns policy if it's coming from you. <laughs> mm. I got an Epiphone uh, Casino quite recently, and, and that, that sparks off a few songs just because of the way it sounds. You plug it in, you plug it into this something. I went down Carlsbury in Leicester. I'm so glad I didn't do this now. But <coughs> Noel Gallagher just brought out an Epiphone uh, reissue. It was like a blue, and then I'd done a scratch plate of a Union Jack on it with Noel Gallagher at the top. And I'm, I know, I nearly, I nearly walked away with that. And now I'm very glad I didn't. <laughs> Greg used to like write these man songs. It's very studio based, you know, just sort of like tracks that would just go on and on and be just mad and be like, what, what are you doing with them? You know, and I'd play drums, I used to just <coughs> pester him. <laughs> He'd pop down and, and sort stuff. of like, I'd get inside, I've got, I've got this track, I'll let me play drums on it, and then he'd come down and say, why don't you turn it into a song? And then it was more like, well, why don't you turn it into something that we can actually go and do live? And then... <coughs> yeah, we never really thought it'd actually <coughs> work, really, because it's quite, it's, it's quite dancey-fied, you know, mm. with, with guitars and stuff, to actually do it live. But yeah, we just sort of got together and it just worked, it just clicked, you know, just straight away. So because we were still sort of discovering what the hell we were going to do, and you know, and it, it would last for like 12 minutes or whatever, very prog rock, like crowd rock sort of, yeah. German electronica sort of thing, they just go on and on, and then, and then it's forced to, in a band and being on stage, bring it down to something that's a little bit more of a song to yeah. them. I suppose going back to your question earlier about the guitars and sounding, I think that's something that has come out, you know, as we've sort of put into a live performance, like the guitars, you know, on top of something that's very produced and very yeah. synth based, you know, yeah. you can, it adds so much more dimension to the sound, you know, so that's something that's, you know, as it keeps growing, it's the guitars that are more... What we have said as well is that the whole thing started where there wasn't really going to be any members, basically because it was studio based and we were just going to, I was just going to, with the invention of the internet, obviously just put this stuff out, not really worry about it, we didn't even think we'd do any gigs. So therefore there was going to be no members and therefore if anybody would want to come and do something, they could and it's fine. But now we have been gigging, obviously it's a, it's a little bit easy to have a bit of a tight, tight -knit group you yeah. know, of, of people. But well, then again, you know, we've got a lad that's coming with us to Scotland that's going to do loads of synths and stuff and we were saying the other day, like festivals and stuff, get sitar players on there and cello and violin and what, you know, you just go, just go mad, it just well, get carried away. It keeps Great, it interesting for us and it keeps it interesting for everybody else and 
you know, just get different people involved and they add something to it and they can come and go and, you know, it's not that rigid then. We like Spinal Tap, they have like 84 odd members, <laughs> didn't they? You know what I mean? And they did that interview in a room like this. It's all going to go wrong, isn't it? We've got very small stone hedge compared <laughs> yeah, to the midget. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a few I've spotted. I always look for mine when I come in, because yeah, I always look for the, the price on it. Oh, <laughs> so but um, there's too many, man. Yeah. There's, there, there is too many. I'm into these, but it's like the hollow bodied sort of, you know, like the 335s and things like that. I don't know. Was that one you're on about downstairs, that picture, or was that 317? Yeah, that's one of them, yeah. I was yeah. about to buy one of those recently, yeah. but I, uh, but I did in the end. There's for various there's, reasons, but... There's so many different sounds with them. It's hard to pick one yeah. out from, yeah. you know, it depends for what job. But I'm not one of them sort of like, you know, I, I appreciate what Slash and them sort of people do, but I'm not one of them fret with limbs or yeah. guitar. Like that. I don't, that doesn't really do it for me, but... I think it does for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more, the, it's, it's more some of the parts, really, in my eyes. I mean, you have your heroes growing up, but it's like football heroes as well. They're going to change. Gonna, there's obviously the classics that like we've already been through, you know, like Hendrix and he's a legend Johnny, who are always going to be. Glass and Radio, that like Johnny guy, I mean, he's incredible, you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. That's, you know, go on, go for it. Go for it. He's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. You can do what you like. Have yeah, a wander around and think about Get that one with a weird head on it. It's just hard to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.